Hello, reporting to you live. What's going on guys, Lawson here. We are moving along in the 30 day challenge. Something I want to introduce into it is at least once a week, come out here and do some work on the pond. I am now starting like a restoration project or a beautification project of the pond and we're gonna start working on it very regularly. Regularly? We're gonna be working on the pond very often now. <laughs> and now at least once a week and trying to make it more pleasing to the eye because it's a really cool pond but it doesn't look that great right now if you can see in the background little ziggy our pet alligator is cruising around in there but what we're doing today is very exciting so when i was in high school i was obsessed with aquaponics and i don't know if you know what that is but it's basically mixing fish keeping and hydroponics into one and the fish fertilize your plants and your plants act as a filtration system for your fish now, with a pond this huge, we'd actually need a very, very large one for it to actually have a serious effect. But we're going to make a small aquaponics setup today just to start. And it's like basically creating a natural filter for the pond. It's going to remove a lot of the bad stuff that's in the water. And it can also help clear up the water in the pond. So today, really quickly, we're going to try to create a little aquaponics setup for our pond and make a natural filter for this pond here. So we have a bunch of different stuff. We went to Home Depot and it was basically like a nightmare from hell. I it just some stuff we still needed. We didn't get everything we needed, but I just could not be in Home Depot for another three seconds. So in front of us we have this big black bin that's gonna act as our flower bed, basically our grow bed where our plants are gonna go. And then we have different piping systems to form a pump and filter system and then lava rocks. And so how this works, instead of your plants being buried in soil, they're buried in hard substrate, so rocks mainly, or there's like little gravel stones, stuff like that. Water will be rising and draining out of our grow bed, and that's how the plants are gonna be watered, and that is the deal here, and the plants will be filtering the dirty water from the pond, and then it'll pour back into the pond. That's game plan, we're gonna start working because we are already running out of daylight here. All right, so we need to put a hole in this for our drain pipe. Now, there's like five million better ways to do this than the way I'm doing it. We don't have a hole saw, and that would be great if we did, but I couldn't find one. So we're using a drill bit here, and we are just going by hand and gonna saw out a little space for our pipe to fit in. Then we have a bulkhead that we're gonna put over it to seal the hole back up. <laughs> It's maybe one of the worst things I've ever done. <laughs> hey, I just need that flex <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm sh in shock that this is like semi-working. I mean, here's the thing about it. That may have been like the jankiest thing I could have ever done to make this hole for this, but you can't tell what the hole looks like once the pipe and the bulkhead's over it. Maybe I can figure out how to tighten this. There we go. Cousin Christopher was kind enough to help me out. No problem. <laughs> I heard you're always supposed to cut right towards your crotch. Done. So you're probably wondering what's the purpose of this thing right here. This is gonna be basically a barrier to keep the rocks off of our drain pipe here. So we're gonna drill a bunch of holes in this with the drill, so water still comes through it, but we don't want gravel to get around our main standpipe in there because we're gonna make a bell siphon that goes around that. What your completed bucket will look like. Very holy, very spiritual, and we'll put that back in. <laughs> holy. I like your joke there. Very holy, huh? Good one, Dad. Good. We're gonna dump some of these lava rocks in here. Normally we'd wash them out, but it's not that big of a deal, to be honest, in this big of a pond. All right, our lava rocks have been leveled out. I underbought on lava rocks, which is not surprising, I suppose, because this is a very thrown together project here. But I think that's what's most fun about it, is like trying to improvise and make things work. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna cut our standpipe down just a little bit, and then we're gonna create a bell siphon. So the whole idea is you see this pipe right here, 
is completely clear so water and no rocks will be sucked into it and block the flow of the pipe. And how it's going to work, there's a bell, I'm going to show you, there's a bell that's going to go over it and it creates suction and it will drain this whole entire bin very, very quickly of water. But we're going to cut this down real quick to make it kind of level with our gravel. We're moving. You're out of the pool and he has some of his hand. And the mom, yeah, and the mom goes, what is that? A knife! No! Like he starts screaming. I love that line. This is more of a measure zero cut once operation. Just, do you want it here? You cut it, I'll hold it. Are you sure? Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna put you. Where do you want me? No, you gotta cut it. I don't know where you want it cut at. I don't, wait, let me see the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> About yay high. Right, right there. Right. Let me. Get a good finger smudge on there. Where that little white mark is. Safety 101, have your cousin stab you in the heart with a sawzall. We're only close enough to be safe. <laughs> we are basically out of light today. We could finish it, but I don't want to do it in the dark so I can have to show you guys what's going on. We're gonna pack everything up and we'll resume this tomorrow. All right, we are back out at the pond here, continuing where we left off yesterday. And it is beautiful out overnight. Kind of a little bit of a cold front swept through and it has gone from being in like the 80s to Florida. It's about 71 degrees. And I know pretty much everywhere else in the country that's hot, but here in Florida, that's cool and nice. So we're here, got all our supplies still. We got Ziggy holding it down in the back over there. We are gonna finally hook this thing up and get it running. Last night we did the groundwork, the leg work, and got it all put together. Now we gotta set it up, get it running, and see how she goes. The thought is right now. I'm gonna put the back end of the grow bed on this mound right here, and then these cinder blocks are gonna be like halfway in the water here. Ugh. So, the bed will be overhanging into the water, and obviously I'm gonna do a little bit more adjusting to it than that once we get it all set up, but I'm gonna place the bed here and see if we can get it set up right. Okay, so we actually had to move the grow bed a little bit so we could actually reach power to it. Turns out my extension cord wouldn't reach, we're way too far away. But now we're set up here, very same situation here. So we have the grow bed, the back end of it is on the ground, then the front end is on cinder blocks facing into the pond. So what I'm doing right here is I actually have a pump inside this flower pot. And the purpose of this is to keep it off of the mud so it's just not sucking in like straight, straight up dirt. So we're gonna put the pump into the pond just like a few feet out. And then we have a hose that is running our water that's gonna run it back into the grow bed. But we'll deal with that in a second. So I'm gonna wait out a little bit and drop our pump in. Oh my gosh. There's two like mega bass that just cruise by and there's a big tilapia and then a soft shell turtle just popped its head up and there's a bunch of brim. The fish here are getting used to being fed or they know that human activity means food. So like that's super cool. There's a soft shell turtle coming in. He's going to po poke his head up right here, like right in the grass. Hey buddy. That's super cool, man. That's so cool. And two like four pound largemouth swam by, which that got me <laughs> Dude, this turtle is like coming up and sniffing the pot. Pump is pumping in water. The first few cycles are gonna be really dirty. There's gonna be washing out these rocks. So right now I actually don't even have where the water's gonna be siphoning out right now is just gonna dump onto dry land because I want it to cycle out a few times and get the initial like dirt and mud out and all the red dirt from these lava stones. And then we're gonna hook up basically a flow system to dump the purified water that's ran through the plants back into the pond. And what I thought would be really cool is eventually, not today, but eventually what I wanna do is design a type of almost waterfall system or a water flow system where it's gonna be putting running water back into this pond because all of you guys know, bass, any type of fish loves running water and they'll gravitate towards it. So it could be really cool because we'll have this like purified water coming out, dumping into the pond and the fish will be drawn to it because of all the activity. This is gonna fill up and we're gonna see if our bell siphon works. That's really all I'm waiting on here. So the water is gonna fill up to the top of where this pipe reaches and that should just all vacuum suck out with the bell siphon. The, the, the bell might be too tall, we'll see. 
So the plan right now is probably next week or maybe today, I don't know. I, I plan on filling this planter up all the way with rocks, almost to like three inches short, maybe two inches short of the top. But right now this is just what we're working with and this is what we got, so we're gonna have it make do for today. But what's so cool about this, it's so easy to add on to this where we can add another planter right next to it, the same size, same everything, and all we would do would be putting a splitter in this hose right here and adding another length to it. And we would have two going simultaneously, which is what the plan is. So this is gonna filter out for a little bit and then we're gonna plant the few little herbs that we bought to get in here. And we'll let the plants start doing their thing and the plants are gonna act as the natural filtration system. And I am aware that a little planter this size is not gonna filter this whole entire pond here, but over time it's gonna help a little bit and we're gonna add to it and add different things to kind of make the pond kick in. And what's really cool about this though, to me is more so the the agricultural side of it is that we're gonna be growing vegetables and herbs and stuff like this, which that's cool, man. It's cool, you know? We are gonna plant some of our goodies that we got here into the grow bed. Now, we don't need the dirt because the lava rocks, the substrate inside here is gonna be acting as our dirt. So we're gonna pull this out. This is rosemary and the best that we can gonna strip all this dirt away this potting soil away and plant just our roots into the lava rock substrate so how this is working is you have your little roots hanging down see all these little root hangers and the water comes up and just touches the roots and then the bell siphon sucks the water all back out and so it's just being lightly watered now if you have them soaking too much, you'll get root rot and the roots in your plant will just die because they get over watered basically. So with this, the water pulls up, touches the roots, sucks back down, and all is good and well. They get nutrients, they suck out the bad juice out of the pond. Is that the scientific term, the bad juice? Hmm, where should we plant this boy? And we're just gonna push him in there as best we can. Basil is going in. We'll plant him right down here. I know a lot of this has been very like half hazardly thrown together. Most of this for this video for me has been just kind of like a uh, refresher because like I was saying, I used to do this a ton when I was a kid. I had a huge 300 gallon aquaponics set up in my backyard and then I had multiple like mini 10 gallon ones that I had set up in my room as a kid just because I really really was into it and I like honestly was considering trying to do some type of like aquaponics farming or hydroponic or something like that for a career is like what I wanted to go to college for I feel uh I'm pretty happy with my career choice now at this point but a lot of this has just been like really refreshing my brain on it and it's super super fun and I can definitely do a more like in-depth detailed video for you guys of like actually how to set one of these up if that interests any of you but it's been awesome we got two more plants to plant and then our grow bed will be set up i have uh i have my doubts about the chives if whether they'll make it or not but we'll see sweet we have our grow bed set up the system is flowing properly and what's cool is once you have the bell siphon set up the bell siphon makes it an automatic system meaning you don't really have to mess with it. And it'll definitely be good to come out here a few days a week maybe, or even just once a week to check on the plants and we'll check on our progress of everything and make sure it's going all right. This is like our first step in our pond beautification process here. This was more just, I thought this would be a really fun project and something I've been wanting to do for a long time. But we're gonna start basically refurbishing the whole entire pond. I wanna make the bank look very pleasing because right now it's just, mud and mulch is all that's along this bank and so I want to start making this a really beautiful pond so maybe that'll be laying gravel around the edges of the pond and planting some more plants and really making it beautiful and I think we're even going to go and try to build a floating dock out here on this pond and then see what we can do about clearing the water up. Pond is going to get a big shape up here and I'm very very excited about it but I think That'll do it for today's video. I know something a little different, but I like coming out to the pond and showing you guys some projects that we're working on. And I think it's something really fun that needs to be introduced because the pond is such a cool 
place and there's big bass in here there's a bunch of different types of fish we can stock some things in here i have plans to stock a bunch of bait in here lots of things coming up we are moving along in our 30 day challenge i appreciate you guys so much if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like make sure you're subscribed to the channel we are growing very fast so get on the train i am very excited about what we can achieve here within the next few months i appreciate you guys so much until the next video which would be uh tomorrow see ya